Welcome back to Geeky Gourmet. I'm Beth Accomando, host of the KPBS Cinema Junkie podcast. These videos are paired to my podcast, and the theme this month is Asians on screen. And today, I'm going to cook something based on a recommendation from Brian Hu, artistic director of the San Diego Asian Film Festival. So here's the films he recommended. There, uh, Patricio de Canelsa, who made a film back in the early 2000s called Lumpia. It's about like high school kids who you know have to have bullies and they imagine the possibility of them being the, like like their own superhero selves and they're thinking about it but they're filipino and they're thinking about like well what would we fight with and they have this whole ga running gag of like fighting like lumpia fighters and stuff like that and those filmmakers actually came back last year with a film called lumpia with a vengeance that's right lumpia and lumpia with a vengeance so just to give you a taste of that movie Here's a bit of the trailer for Lumpia with a Vengeance. Please tell me you're a good guy. It's too Filipino. It's like soy sauce and salsa. Getting married. All merged together at harmony. Screw your mama's wedding. Fight the bully. You're all it's all because of this damn movie, man. Okay, Brian picked this film because he thought it went well with Shang-Chi as kind of an alternate view of Asian superheroes. So to find out a little bit more about the film and about Lumpia, I talked with the director. Well, Lumpia, the original film, was actually, we call it the ultimate homemade movie because I shot that with just a video 8 camcorder, not even high 8, but a, a video 8 millimeter if you remember those analog tapes and we shot it in, in my neighborhood in Daly City, California. The first Lumpia film was about a, uh, a Filipino superhero who who used Lumpia as a weapon and he was uh, but you know he was a, he was he was basically a protector between the the Filipino uh, born uh, high school students and the American born thugs I guess in that high school. So that was that was kind of like the story of the first one. And then um, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of, of that film, we decided to crowdfund uh, a sequel, you know, hopefully not homemade, a, a real movie this time. And, and, and surprisingly, we, we, uh, we were successful in crowdfunding, like a little uh, development money to, to get it greenlit. And uh, now here we are, eight years later, uh, we finally finished the movie and, and we've been doing pretty good. We just, we won an audience award in our first film festival at the Hawaii International Film Festival. And now we are gonna be at the Los Angeles uh, Asian Pacific Film Festival. And, and we just, you know, we, we've been touring now close to a year now. And just in case there's anyone out there that doesn't know what Lumpia is, explain what this is. Lumpia is a Filipino spring roll. It's a, a, a I, I mean, usually people know because they have a Filipino friend or they, it, but it's always the one thing that um, every time I say, oh, are you Filipino? The next question is, oh, where, do you have lumpia, you know, or, or love that lumpia? So that's, uh, but yeah, lumpia is a, is a popular spring roll, probably one of the the the, uh, the, the iconic foods that represents the Philippines. Um, it's a good appetizing dish too. I mean, you can't you can't just eat one. I, 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 don't, I don't know, Beth, if you agree with that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> and then and, and the whole point of with lumpia is like, you gotta you gotta kind of will yourself to stop because it just keeps going. You're dipping, you're crunching, you're dipping. You're like next thing you know, you're already eating like half of the <laughs> the plate already. <laughs> what inspired you to create a superhero that would use lumpia? I mean, the the real origin was really um, my brother Dario and I. We were fans back uh, back then of a movie called El Mar Mariachi by Robert Rodriguez. And so we were thinking, you know, oh, what would be, uh, if that movie was about a Mexican hero that used a guitar as a weapon, what would be the Filipino version? <laughs> the best thing we could think about, think of, was like, oh, what about a Filipino guy who wears a barong Tagalog and just throws lumpia? That's what my brother said. And he was just joking around and I go, wait a minute, hmm, there's something there visually. <laughs> and my brother, wait, I was just kidding. And then, and, and ever since then, I've been justifying this hero that, threw, that throws Lumpia around as a weapon. <laughs> now, I did impose on you to see if you actually had a recipe for Lumpia, because I was curious if there was like a prop recipe for Lumpia, for the Lumpia thrown in the film. So, you know, as a disclaimer, <laughs> we, we didn't we didn't waste any real lumpia on set. We we we, we made sure that any real cooked lumpia was 
was was was was eaten properly and that's why anytime that there was lumpia that actually was eating it was real lumpia but anytime that it was thrown it was actually a fake prop i got through ebay so the, the star of the movie especially lumpia the vengeance was this this plastic prop egg roll or I, I think it's an egg roll for a, a chinese restaurant it used to be a prop in those windows and stuff oh. <laughs> And I and I was lucky enough to have found one on eBay, and it looked exactly like lumpia. I, I don't know if I could reveal like a Chinese egg roll was. I think people were like, "Oh, that's blasphemy! You can't use a Chinese egg roll as a Filipino lumpia." But you know, it, it worked. I decided to ask Patricio if he had a recipe he could share for lumpia. I asked my mom, and she it's, she goes by memory, so she didn't have oh. anything ready now. And uh, luckily, my mother-in-law, my wife, actually had the recipe, so it's like oh, okay. Sweet. And I just have to ask permission. I just have to ask permission. She says, yes, go ahead, share. <laughs> okay, so now I have the recipe of Patricio's mother-in-law. So let's tackle making lumpia. Now, my grandfather was Chinese, so I know a little bit about making egg rolls, and lumpia are similar, but not exactly the same. So let's dive into her recipe. The recipe Patricio passed on to me is for lumpia Shanghai style. You're more than likely going to need a trip to the Filipino market, if only to get the correct wrappers you'll need. So let's begin. First, take a couple of carrots and you can grate them coarse or fine. Then take a few stalks of celery and chop that. Take an eight ounce can of water chestnuts drained and chop those. Chop a handful of green onions. Take a pound of shrimp and roughly chop that up. And once you've prepared those items, put them aside, and then take two eggs, add up to one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and ground pepper to taste. Beat the egg with those ingredients and set aside. Now, in a large bowl, take the shredded carrots, add the chopped celery, the water chestnuts, the green onions, and the shrimp. Stir it up, and then add one pound of ground pork. Mix well, and then add the egg mixture and blend well and set aside. Next, take out the lumpia wrappers. Now these are thinner than egg roll wrappers, so make sure you get the ones that say lumpia, or if they're called spring roll wrappers, make sure you're getting them from a Filipino market so that you don't end up with Chinese egg roll wrappers, which are a bit thicker. So these are gonna come in large sheets and you can cut them into quarters or just in half. And while you're working, make sure you cover the wrappers with a damp cloth. Take another egg, beat it with a little bit of water, and then use this mixture to seal each lumpia. Now you're ready to assemble the lumpia. And there's a few different ways that you can actually put them together. So you can take a quarter sheet, fill with about a tablespoon of filling, and fold it and then fold each side and roll it up. Make sure to use the egg mixture to seal it. You can also make larger ones by cutting the wrappers in half and then just rolling a bigger one with no folding so the ends of these are open. And another way is to take whole sheets, fill, roll, and then cut into thirds. This is likely the fastest way to make the lumpia. Then you're ready to fry them in peanut oil at about 350 degrees for five or six minutes. Remember the meat inside is raw so make sure they're cooked thoroughly through. Keep an eye on them and make sure you turn them a few times. When they're done, place them on a wire rack over a paper towel so they'll drain. And then you're finished. You can serve these with a variety of dipping sauces, from a sweet and sour to a sweet chili to coconut vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic. So these Lumpia Shanghai style are perfect for eating with Lumpia the movie. But for the sequel, Lumpia with a Vengeance, I suggested something else to Patricio. So I found lumpia dynamite. We stuff a chili with pork and then you roll it. Now, now, now that's a real weapon there. I, I, I don't, think so. I don't know if I can hang with that. that or not, or already that spice already <laughs> can't take that. that. That would be the weapon that would like totally defeat me if lumpia man had that as a weapon. <laughs> I may have to, once, once I see that, I might have to use that. Uh, I may have to borrow that, that recipe for, for the next movie. <laughs> That's right, lumpia with a vengeance needs a little extra to kick ass. So these lumpia, also known as dynamite lumpia, have a stuffed chili pepper inside. Ideally, you want to find finger chilies. I could only find Thai chilies and serranos. So the serranos had the better size to stuff, so I went with those. Make sure to oil your fingers or wear gloves to prep the chilies. 
Then slice open and scrape out the seeds for each one. For this recipe, you'll need about 25 to 30 chilies. And then prep a beaten egg with a teaspoon of salt, sugar, and soy sauce. Then mix your filling. Take one pound of ground pork, add the minced garlic, grated ginger, chopped green onions, chopped yellow onion, chopped cabbage, and mix well and set aside. For these lumpia with a vengeance, you'll need a full wrapper. Fold one corner, place the stuffed chili on the wrapper, fold the other corner over the chili, like you're tucking it into bed. Then fold the wrapper across and roll as tight as you can. Seal the end with the egg mixture, and then you're ready to fry them up in peanut oil, just like you did with the others. And then you're done and ready to eat. Thanks for watching another Geeky Gourmet. Here's the results of our labor. So we have three different kinds of lumpia. This is the one that is folded and wrapped. This was the one that was just rolled so the ends are open. And then there's the lumpia with a vengeance. And this is the one that has the hot chili inside. So this is a very lethal weapon. You've got to be very careful. And as you can see, there's the hot chili inside. And I think I'm going to let my son test this one. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make lumpia with me. Thanks to Patricio for sharing that recipe. Remember to check out the companion podcast on Asians on Screen. You can find more podcasts and more Geeky Gourmet videos at kpbs.org slash cinemajunkie. Plus, on October 3rd, Brian Hu is going to have an exciting announcement about where you can watch Lumpia and Lumpia with a Vengeance. So check out Pack Arts Chew the Scene to find out. Until our next film fix, I'm Beth Accomando, your resident cinema junkie.